Welcome back to day three of our biodiversity extravaganza. Today's project involves nut butter. If you're allergic to peanut butter, the alternative that I recommend is sun nut butter, which is made out of sunflower seeds. Peanuts and sunflowers are native to North America, so the species won't be bothered by eating these nut butters. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is use your cookie cutter on your bread to cut it out into a nice shape. It just makes it look better. Stale bread works best, but if you have soft bread like me, what you do is just press it down and then jiggle it from side to side until the cookie cutter has gone all the way through. Now that your shapes are cut out, go ahead and poke some holes through the bread and lace it up with yarn. Once the yarn is through the holes and you've tied the ends, go ahead and put a thick layer of your nut butter and sprinkle seeds on top. I know that there are members of the Timberwild community who are allergic to peanuts, so my nut butter is not actually going to be hung here at Timberwilds, but I did want to use it for display purposes to show you what you do. Sprinkle some seeds into your nut butter, and at this point it is ready for hanging. One of the tips and tricks to keep squirrels out of this kind of bird feeder is to hang it on the very edge branches of the tree which are too weak to support the squirrel. So the curious squirrel is going to climb as far as it can. It won't be able to reach these and it won't be able to get them and the birds will. As promised, I didn't hang up the bird feeder I made using peanut butter because I know members of the Timberwild community are allergic to nuts and I want our school to be a safe place for everyone. However, I did hang up one of the slices of bread that I haven't put any butter or seeds on so that you can drive by and see what I mean by hang it on the edge branches of the tree. Here's a quick peek. This branch is not strong enough to support any weight of squirrel, so you can rest assured knowing that your bird feeder will actually be feeding birds and the squirrels won't get to it before the birds do. Starting tomorrow, all of our projects are gonna be cumulative, which means we're gonna do one piece of it every day, leading up to our very own container pollinator garden. For tomorrow's project, you're gonna to want to buy two terracotta unglazed four and a half inch pots one six inch or larger saucer and you're going to need some glue. 